Hey guys, Thundee E here, and I'm here to talk about a device that I started using last year in my three month review. Of course, you've seen it in the title. It's the Huawei Mate 10 Pro. Now I switched over to using the US version, and uh, you know, we all know the sad things that are happening with Huawei in the US and people saying this and that and blah, blah, blah. I don't have to repeat it, but I've been using this device for quite a bit of time. And using the US version, which of course comes in this lovely blue color, uh, also has packs in six gigs of RAM, 120 gigabytes of storage. I have to say though, like the Mate 10 Pro is a solid device. It had been initially and it continues to be. One of the things that some people may not like, of course, is using EMUI. There are a lot of just intricacies that are different from a Chinese audience and the US audience. So you do have that inherently built in. Of course, you can throw in any Android skin you want. So that's there. But there are a lot of things to like about the Mate 10 Pro. The first thing I will state is that the battery life is absolutely fantastic on this bad boy. It is king. 4,000 milliamp battery, it lasts quite a long time. You can stretch that full day. I mean, 24 hours as you go around with this device and you will be fine. That is one of the cool things that I really like about the Mate 10 Pro. It's really reliable there. And also you've got a really solid camera system here. Uh, the cameras, of course, partner with Lycon. The cameras really do a good job uh, in taking photos. The bokeh effects, they work out pretty well on that. Monochrome is stellar on this device. But just in general, it's a solid piece of, uh, you know, camera hardware to use. Now there's some parts they need to fix and work on, but I've enjoyed it so far. I haven't had any issues with that. Now that when you get the US version, if you still want to get the US version, you can pick it up at Amazon. We'll have a link for you down below. And you can also buy it at other retailers online. I think BNH Photo is another one. Uh, is that it comes in pre-built with a couple of things. Google keyboard is the keyboard that you actually use with this device. So that's just off the bat. Again, it's nice to see, begin trying to understand the US audience and bring some of those things there. A couple of applications that are built and are already coming with this device uh, that are more US centric. Google Pay is installed uh, in there. Google Photos also installed. Uh, and then you do have Google Play Music. Again, just things that are kind of pushing to that audience uh, sector there, which is, which is nice. It's nice to see. I mean, that's just something that's standard uh, on, uh, all the way through to get that. Now, of course, it doesn't have a headphone jack. And you know me, I will always bitch and complain about that because I don't think any company should take off the headphone jack because there's no reason. Uh, but that being said though, um, it does support Aptex HD from Qualcomm. So you have that. So if you've got wireless headphones that you really like that are really good to support Aptex HD, you can definitely use it on this device and get better than CD audio quality. It's got an IR blast on the top. Now that's pretty cool. A lot of people, manufacturers move away from that. But again, you know, it's something that adds to the mix. I've enjoyed using this device. Now, the fingerprint sensor at the back is fast, it's snappy. Um, the vi device over overall is pretty solid. I, I mean, I can't deny the fact that it's a solid device overall. And I think it's something a lot of people will like. Um, you know, I think this is a device that, you know, if given a chance, would probably have done really well in the US, but we know what's happening with Huawei here. And I have to say it's a bit bummed out because this is the number three manufacturer in the world. And we're not going to get to see that a lot in the US, especially the new devices like the newly launched P20 Pro, which has that triple camera setup. But the Huawei Mate 10 is still available in the US uh, and I will fully recommend this. I recommended it in my video last year. Yes, that was a sponsored video, but I did use it for quite a bit of time. And um, I also will recommend it here. This is not a sponsored video, guys. This is just me going back to a device three months ago uh, of use. And I have to say though, it's solid. It's a solid device to use. It's a solid device. Uh, it does a fingerprint magnet, as you can clearly see here. But if you have any questions or any comments about the Huawei Mate 10 Pro, let me know. You can use our link down below, Amazon or BNH Photo to pick it up and uh, get this device for yourself. I fully recommend it. Otherwise, don't forget to like and share this video, favorite this video, subscribe to the channel, and always enjoy your entertainment. Thank you.